All right, here we have our well, four foot tile, concrete tiles, six inch stainless steel riser clamps, half inch stainless steel threaded rod and hardware. And this is gonna be the support for my standpipe. Water is three feet deep. All right, here's my new standpipe. It's four feet long. I cut a chamfer on the bottom edge. I've got a threaded rod to hold the motor up off the bottom. And I've got a PVC piece of pipe over the rod just so there's no metal to metal contact when the motor runs and vibrates. And then you can see my mark and that's the water inlet on the pump. And I drilled the holes just a little bit lower than that to keep the water line at a maximum and uh, up out of the mud far enough. So uh, there's four of those holes to let the water in to make up water for the pump. And here we have the standpipe mounted. My well pipe is cut to the center of the standpipe. We're ready to install the pump into the standpipe. Here we have the final assembly with the pump, torque arrestor, the solenoid valve T, and the barb fitting for the one inch well piping that leaves the side of the well. And here's our finished product of the deep well pump inside a shallow well with a six foot PVC standpipe and a normally open solenoid valve so it fails open if you lose power or when you shut the pump off and you leave. You're frost free, you are below the freeze line, and the house is safe.